everybody, Stephen here. <clears throat> this isn't so much a video video review um, as just kind of talking about what I just got in, which is the Spoiled Hippo uh, Mobility Balls here. So 26 something off of Amazon. I'll put a link for this in the description box. But why I was interested in this is you have three different sizes. So we have two and a inch, two and a half inch diameter. We have three and a half inch diameter, and then we have a five inch ball. So it's that scale, right? <clears throat> Uh, looked into it. These aren't Quite as hard as a lacrosse ball, so it's not as dense But it's also not as low density as maybe the yoga tune-up ball or the alpha ball um, With this I looked into like what the material is because it to me it feels like styrofoam and, and that's what I found is it's like a styro layered styrofoam My only concern with that is that over time. This is going to get divots in it. It's going to compress so I'll, I'll basically wait a couple months working with this to do like a final video review. I do like this bigger one here just because it's a little bit softer than what I'll end up using at the gym, which is uh, more like a slam ball or something like that. Just because I'm trying to scale and pinpoint an area a little bit more so than a foam roller will. But I also don't need something that's as pinpointed like the lacrosse ball. So luckily there's products out that are coming out now for that. But with this one, this is an interesting size just because I can get into the glute and really dig into some areas that foam roller isn't quite cutting it, but I also don't want to, at least on the ground, use a lacrosse ball. I typically use one up against the wall because I can scale that a little bit more. But this is interesting for that, getting into the lower back. And this is what I do with the alpha ball. This is just maybe, like I said, a little bit, because alpha balls maybe a little bit bigger than this so maybe it's four because it's in between this three and a half and this five <clears throat> inch diameter ball and then I can get into the psoas a little bit and roll around there with just a slightly bigger uh, like I said mobility ball there um, that's really really interesting or I can go a little bit more pinpointed with this and then, then I can really use this on the foot and the shoulders up against the wall so I'll be messing around with that a little bit more um, just a little bit that I've played around with it because I worked on my neck with this before shooting this video and I've done a little bit with this on the glutes. Um, interesting, like I said, my only concern right now is that the density of this is going to break down over time and eventually this is just going to be a crumbled ball. So we'll see how that goes over the coming months, especially because I'm going to be using this a lot more with clients that I have that uh, weigh more than I do. So the amount of pressure and force, because I'm only like 195, 200 pounds, um, the, the amount of force on this will change a little bit and also based off the surface where in my soft carpet I'll be using this up against the wall I'll be using this on a rubber floor as well so um, so far I like the concept with the sizing here my only concern like I said though is just the material on the outside it feels soft like this material is super soft it almost feels like a microfiber or something like that that's super soft I looked up the spoiled hippo by the way and aside from this product, it's a weird company. Um, they have a carrying bag with this too, but besides this, it's like a cereal dispenser and like a couple other product, like a picture frame, like it's really random. And then they have this product. So I don't know if it's one of those things where they're actually creating the products. Somebody comes to them and says, hey, I have the idea, but I don't have the capital to make this. Would you partner with me? I don't know if it's something like that or they're just trying to collect a bunch of different things and sell them. Not 100% sure, but uh, that's what's on their website. They have the, the hippo here on the back of it. So, so far so good. I don't wanna tell you guys to absolutely order this yet, just because like I said, this isn't my review. But if you don't wanna wait and you are curious, I'll put a link in the description box. Like I said, you guys can pick this up for 26 bucks. You get the three. And that may be the difference too with that. My concern is the breakdown, especially because I'll be using this a lot with a lot of different people. And if it's just you, it's probably gonna last a lot longer. I'm gonna be putting it through the ringer here, like I said, with my clients and myself. So we'll see here in a couple months. So look forward to that. Um, but like I said, if you are curious, just you've seen this on Amazon, the uh, insides, like I said, layered foam from what I could find out. They didn't have a bunch li listed on the website. So I had to find that through questions and stuff like that on Amazon and uh, through the forums that they have with that. So that is it guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button. 
with this, as I toy around with this, I'll be shooting more mobility um, videos showcasing some of the stuff that I do with this, which I've shot with like the alpha ball and the lacrosse ball and the yoga tuna balls, just some variations and some um, routines that you can do, whether that's for the beginner or scaling up through somebody that's a little bit more familiar with these different massage tools themselves. So thank you so much for watching and check back soon for the video review of this and some uh, different videos showcasing what I do with